Hey everyone, how's it going? This is the part 3, also the last part of the modeling for this tutorial series. Except for the motorbike and the electric guitar we are going to import at the end, which I've spent a very long time to model previously, we are going to go through the modeling for all other objects in this 3D asymmetric garage. Let's get started with the floor flat light. We start with the plane using the same technique we have used for modeling the neon light and the wire conduit. We extrude the vertices to make the frame part for the flat light and then bevel the sharp corners to make them smooth. Then we convert this object to curve and adjust the geometry setting to give it some thickness. After that, we convert this curved object back to mesh and give it more details. We create some loop car on the frame, then select the faces, extrude these faces along normals to create the grid part on the frame. At this point, we don't need a subdivision surface modifier to smooth the frame object. It will only remove the detail in between the grip and the frame, so let's switch it off for the time being. Select these edges for the grips and bevel them to make them smooth. Now the frame part is down. Let's create a cube for the main part of the flat light. Adjust the size and shape of the cube to fit it inside the frame. Create a loop cut and extrude these faces along normal to create the front frame of the light. Then select the front face and extrude in to create the emission part of the light. Now let's create some loop cuts around this object and select some faces and extrude them along normals to give some detail to the light. Add a bevel modifier to the light object to make the edges smooth. Then create a cylinder object and adjust its size to make the axis part to connect the flat light and the light frame. Now adjust the light part size again to fit nicely inside the light frame. Then select all light parts while holding the shift key Select the main light object at the end and press Ctrl P to link the objects. We can now adjust the flat light size and move it to the position. Next, let's create the traffic current object. Create a cube, scale on the z-axis to make the base part of the cone. Create the same amount of the loop cuts on the both x and y-axis. Then Select the center part of the vertices and delete them. Select the edge vertices next to the deleted vertices and use the loop tool to make those vertices a circle shape. Now, extrude the circle up and scale it. Press F key to seal the top. Then, bevel the edge to make it smooth. Create two loop cuts on the cone. Later in the shading parts, we will apply different color to those parts separated by the loop cuts. Now, it's time to adjust the traffic cone size and place it to the position. Next, we are going to create a jukebox. Create a torus object. Enter edit mode, also switch on the x-ray mode. And then delete bottom half of the torus. Then, also delete small part from the back of the torus. Extrude the bottom part of the vertices down. Then, extrude the back part of the vertices back. Press F key to create a face by those vertices. Make the overall shape of the jukebox. Create loop cut on both sides and extrude those faces along normals 
to create some detail on the jukebox. Repeat the steps to create more details. Connect those vertices and create a half circle shape. Extrude in to make the space for the records and the record player. Create a U-shaped object and use the boolean tool to cut the U-shape out of the main jukebox object. Select the U-shape edge, duplicate it, and press P to make a separated object. Convert this object to curve. Use the curve geometry setting to give it some thickness. Then create some detail on the top of the U-shape object. Also create some detail along the object. Create a plane, subdivided into small faces, and use the wireframe modifier to make the front grill for the jukebox. Create another cylinder object and add some details to it. Place it in the middle of the grill. The ideas come from a lot of reference jukebox pictures online. You can always make some adjustment, add some more components to make your own ideal jukebox. Now, let's start with a cube to create a control panel with some buttons. Now, let's create some more decorations. Create a plane, rotate it, delay one edge, and bevel the 290 degree corner. Convert this object to curve to get some thickness. Then, convert back to mesh Adjust the size and shape again. Use the array modifier to repeat this object and then place them under the control panel. Create another two cube shaped objects. This could be two lights or two small speakers or maybe two small screens showing what music is playing. Now, create a cylinder object, scale it down on the z-axis, adjust its size to make a record, use an array modifier to create a stack of records, and place them into the space we've created before for the records and the record player. Duplicate the object to make the record player base and the record on the top of the record player. Then. Duplicate the cylinder again, rotate, adjust the shape to make other parts for the record player. Select all the parts of the jukebox by holding the shift key. Select the main parts of the jukebox at last and press Ctrl P to link the objects. Resize and place the jukebox to the position. Now, let's create two oil barrels. Create a cylinder, adjust the size. Create two loop cuts, bevel them. Then, create another loop cut on the top part and then move it towards the top, close the top edge. Create another loop cut at the bottom part and then move towards the bottom, close the bottom edge. Select these faces and extrude along normals. Add a subdivision surface modifier to the barrel. Duplicate it to make another barrel. Delete the top face. Later, we will create some fire effect in this barrel. Now, let's import the rest of the objects, the motorbike, the electric guitar, and the kerosene lamp. 
There is one storage shelf is empty. Let's duplicate two motorbike front wheels and place them on the shelf. Here comes the end of the modeling parts of this tutorial series. We are looking forward to see you in the next video, in which we will start shading the objects.